Happy Friday, friends. Thankful that we have made it this far. It is the end of another week. It is nearly the end of March, but it's also Friday. That means it is time to take a look at this week's Freaky Friday Daily Contest. $2,250 in the prize pool. It is our 2013 Par 3 Classic. Oh, oh yes. I think we're going to stop the video right there, folks, because Sequoia 17 kicks things off. Or excuse me, Sequoia 15 kicks things off and I kick this video off with a home one which means the rest of the video absolutely positively going straight downhill after this so enjoy the first minute or so might as well just close the video after the fact <clears throat> it's a par 3 contest which it means it is going to be the battle of who can get as many aces by the time this contest is over and as of 2.42 Central Time, recording this video, Joe Massara in first place with 27 under. Yes, that means 18 holes. That means he's had quite a few hole ones. We're probably not going to get anywhere near where he's at. But with $2,250 in the prize pool and, you know what, about 10 hours or a little less than 10 hours left to go, you never know who... They get out there and show up and start playing. Can we get another hole in one right here? Nope, too short. I'm just going to be happy with the hole in one on a completely unexpected hole. By the way, I did not actually see today's look or play it at all until this video. Um, so we're going to just chalk that up as a uh, really good shot from a really below average player. Also, Screenshots coming later this afternoon for our new night course from Golden Tee 2022. Neuron Yoro, probably butchering that very, very graciously. But we now have another night course in our realm. And look at that. It only took me to hole five. Wait, hold on. As I say, only until hole five to screw things up, but the Golden Tee Gods are on my side. Uh, a shout out to them. This is Sequoia number three. Let's see if we can just ace every Sequoia par three today in this 2013 classic. Probably not going to happen, but we've got Sequoia Grove, Coconut Beach, Cape Haven, Jackrabbit Junction, and Bear Lodge. Uh, some pretty fun courses when you combine them all together separately. Sequoia, uh, Coconut, a little tough. Jackrabbit, uh, in between, really depends on uh, the setups that you get. Hopefully that helicopter is not out looking for somebody. But the name of the game, regardless of a lucky or very skilled hole-in-one on hole one, the uh, name of the game is at least get a birdie on every par three. You want to start things off at at least 18 under. Then you could get into the nitty gritty of, okay, what do I got to do? What is it going to take for me to not just get a birdie on every hole, to not screw up uh, a very, well, that was not an easy shot, but damn it, I don't want to have to chip this in. I want to go home. I want to relax on a Friday afternoon and not worry about my terrible chipping skills that somehow have made their way back in the Golden Tea Lounge. We are going to be very thankful for, you know, just saving, well, saving the one better we've got going. That was Coconut 12. Now it is Jackrabbit Junction 15. This is a, a tough one. Having it as a whole nine, you still got 11 mile an hour win. But let's see if we can put some stuff here together. You got a couple hills to bounce off of. Really, as long as you get down there. As long as you get down there, off of the hill, off the rough, off the fringe, you're okay. All right, one, two, 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 two. Look at that, perfect. All right, hole number 10, this is Cape 17. Now, when I make these courses, I want to make them fun. I don't want it to be, hey, get really good scores, then get to 16, 17, 18, and just get your face beat in. Of course, there's going to be tough holes when it comes to the end of the Freaky Friday course, but I want some of these holes that you are typically used to ruining your good rounds, this uh, Cape 17 being one of them, 
I want to throw them in the middle to have some fun with it. You're still going to have to deal with slopes and sands and water. But a win like that, not terrible to deal with. And then you get Sequoia Grove, number 11. Ironically here, on number 11 as well. <sighs> Do you high TF5 hybrid and bounce it off of the tree? I think that's what we're going to do here. Because I'm too nervous to hit a low 8 wood. It's probably going to go in the water. Or it's going to go too far. And uh, if you've never played Sequoia Grove, bouncing off those trees is about as good of an idea as it sounds. Don't do it. Just stay up there. Oh, boy. Woo oh, you son of a... Oh, that, that's a heartbreaker. Why is it the Sequoia Grove hole that I thought would just instantly screw my game up is the one I ace? Something like that that wasn't easy, wasn't hard. Ugh, alright, well, we're back on par pace, I guess. Alright, this is number 12, Jack Rabbit Junction, number 3. Now I'm a tad bit angry, which means we're just going to attack everything. No pin is safe. And hopefully we can get another hole-in-one in Kevin Lindsay fashion that literally negates the fact that I'd have two hole-in-ones. But this is actually, um, this is a much more fun course than I thought it would be. Putting this together, it's always difficult because you obviously don't want to have courses, you know, in a row. Um, you want to make it fun. You know that there's going to be tough wins that show up as you get closer to 15, 16, 17. Uh, Bear Lodge is one of those courses, a lot of fun. Hole 14, Coconut number 8, this is a good example. You can have this pin anywhere on that little T-shaped green. Now, because it is hole 14, you've got an 11 mile an hour wind to deal with, but now you've got a couple questions. Do I deal with the 8 wood? Do I hit a 3 hybrid and cut it a little bit to make sure you can run it up the green? Do you try 6 wood? 6 wood sucks, don't do that. So what we're going to do, we're going to high tee a three hybrid, and we're just going to play into the wind. And by play into the wind, I mean literally, <laughs> that's amazing, actually. So what I thought was an overcut into the rock wall was literally a beautiful rock wall bounce off the fringe, off of the hill, back on the fringe. I don't know if this should be considered a how-to or how-not-to, or a little bit of lucky in between. All I need is some moolah. Now, 15, this is Cape Haven 13. I'm very happy this is a three hybrid setup, although a tough win. This thing, look at how many different green or uh, tee boxes Jim Z has here, and there's a few of them even way back there. So, this can set up pretty nasty. At least with a three hybrid, you can put in some work, or you just hit an eight wood. Uh, if you put in Clearly me in a three wood and trying to cut it around wind doesn't work well, so maybe we'll just go with the eight wood, but it's a Freaky Friday video. It's Friday, we're having fun. I'm gonna overcut the hell out of that. Hopefully it lands on the fringe. Nope. But my chipping skills seem to be, I don't know if back is the right word, but not as bad as they normally are. All right, well. We knew going into this, at least I knew going into this, it was not going to work out too well. Hole 16, this is bare 17. This is actually, this may go in the hole. This is going to be a really fun setup. That wind and super spin is going to bring it back. Too far, but that down 10, right 4 is going to be the recipe for some fun hole in ones. Remember, if you're trying to get on our weekly Shots of the Week video, get your shot featured on over 14, 15,000 Golden Tee Live games. Send those videos into SOTW at ITSGames.com. Now, this is Sequoia Grove Hole 6. I don't remember the last time that I've seen Sequoia Grove Hole 6 with a 16 mile an hour win. If this pin was anywhere but the spot it was in, I would say, hell yeah, let's do this. Now you've got to think about this a little bit more, which makes Joe Masara's 27 under even that more crazy, impressive, and, and, and scary, just because some of these setups are pretty interesting. I don't care if I screw this up because I'm already down a stroke after hitting a hole one on hole one. So we're gonna just, 
to just try something here. Look at that. 16 mile an hour wind, which using the grabbers means I get all of that wind. Did absolutely nothing for what I was trying to do. Although it did stay on the green, we put it in for birdie. Boom. Ready to rock and roll. And then Coconut Beach, 16. Anybody bounces it off of this top, uh, these top rocks, as I'll call them, and gets it in the cup, I will give a $20 Golden Tea gift card to because, uh, and a shot of the week because that's a lot of fun. Do I want to end this? Look, can we end this the same way we started it with a hole in one? I don't know. Screw it. We're going for it. And guess what? If I make this, we're just going to, it's going to be, you may see it in shots of the week. All right. So 10 mile an hour win. That's kind of blown almost right at the pin. I got to account for the rock bounce. Nope. That's going to hit the side of the rock. Son of a B. Well, that's clearly not going to be in the cup. Uh, but at least you guys know what I'm looking for if you were trying to get that uh, $20 gift card. All right, so there you have it, the 2013 Har 3 Classic. I have ended it with a measly 15 under. At least, like I said earlier, I should have just quit while I was ahead and took the hole-in-one. Now it looks more like a uh, sad, sad car. Blue and green was great at the beginning, but goldenta.com slash locations, find a game near you. By the time you see this video at 3.30 or so central time, you will have, what, a little under uh, 10 hours left to get out there and play. So goldenta.com slash locations, find a game near you, and we'll see you guys next time.